Among the little but immeasurably frequent and thus very influential things to which science ought to pay more attention than to the great rare things, benevolence, too, is to be reckoned. I mean those social expressions of a friendly disposition, those smiles of the eyes, those hand clasps, that comfortable manner with which almost all human action is as a rule encompassed. Every teacher, every official, brings this addition to what he does as a matter of duty. It is the continual occupation of humanity, as it were its light waves in which everything grows especially within the narrowest circle, within the family, is life made to flourish only through this benevolence. Good-naturedness, friendliness, politeness of the heart are never-failing emanations of the unegoistic drive, and have played a far greater role in the construction of culture than those much more celebrated expressions of it called pity, compassion, and self-sacrifice. But usually they are neglected and undervalued, and there is indeed very little of the unegoistic in them. The sum of these small doses is nonetheless enormous. Their collective force is among the mightiest of forces. One can likewise discover much more happiness in the world than clouded eyes can see. One can do so if one calculates correctly and does not overlook all those moments of pleasure in which every day of even the most afflicted human life is rich.